I feel really happy. I'm glad that it went the way it did. I'm really excited that we did the lunchroom voting. Um, it was an idea we had a couple of years ago and it just never worked in the schedule the way we wanted it to. So I think it made the campaigning more real for the people running for office. And I think it made the voting a, a simulated, you know, real experience when you actually go and vote in a real election. We also had a situation where there's a loophole in the Constitution where the date that we required the form to be handed in for running for candidacy was off by a week. So we accepted new candidates on Monday, which we usually don't do when the form had been due on Friday before. So um, that kind of changed things up this week. It was a little crazy. We didn't really have our official people running until yesterday, which was the day before the actual elections had all their paperwork in and were ready on the ballot. So um, things kind of happened a little differently this year and I think it worked out well. I think that we're going to have some good leaders next year and, and hopefully also some good cabinet members from those people who maybe didn't take office today. I think, the, I think the people who will be taking office are a little bit different than what we maybe expected earlier in the year. Um, and so I think that with them will come some changes. I know, um, for example, Carrie Moriarty has not been an officer or a cabinet member on student council, but she has been involved heavily in other organizations. And so I think people like her and some of the other people who haven't had really large leadership roles will sort of step up to the plate and offer new ways to organize things and hopefully better the communication of student council among its members.